Today I took my friend Rebecca to Tuesday Tea at Blue Cone Studios in Seattle and she got to work on some of um, her songs and uh, an album that she's working on putting together and she got to meet a bunch of other artists and I got to see a bunch of people who I haven't seen in a while and it was just, it was nice to show off kind of like this little art life I've got where I know a bunch of artists and, um, and they're creating a school of art so that you can figure out how to make better shit and, and sell it when you, when it's finished, but also how to finish things and how to create things in a group or, or how to create things by yourself, but bounce things off of other musicians and collaborate and, it it was just awesome. And my new shirt came in today. It says, I'm sorry your mangina hurts today. And it's got a sloth on it because that's the what the mangina card looks like. But um, I, I got to run into Blue Cone Studios and yell, look at my boobs. Is the shirt good? Is the shirt good? And everybody was like, yay, you're doing clothes now. And then... We got some good Mexican food, me and Rebecca, and then we went to Vermilion and we looked at all the cool art there, and I got to sell a snarky card book and some magnets to some customers, and I saw my friend Diana, who is this, like, art god, She and she made sure that I did sell some stuff to the people at the bar, and I got to talking to one of the guys who bought my book, and... He showed me some of his art and I talked to him about how he can reproduce it and sell it. <clears throat> Sorry, that's Moose, who is really into getting the very last drop of whatever's in that bowl. Anyway, um, uh, and and Rebecca just sat in the corner and, and worked on her songs and really got into her editing. And um, Diane and I talked about my book release party that I want to have at Vermillion and it just, I don't know. It was just like this really rad art day where I got to show Rebecca kind of like my whole kind of art life and a big part of the art scene in Seattle. And I don't know, like I feel like her eyes were kind of opened to kind of the possibilities of what could be for her art life here, but so were Edwin's. And then at the end of the night, Diana was like, you inspired everybody, Elisa. And that was nice to hear. So that was my day. I hope that you're having a rad uh, art life too, or you're having a rad life. Happy vagina, everybody. <laughs>